Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make these miniature spoons and um, stuff that you can use for your dollhouse. Alright, and then your little spatula and then, you know, your little, I like to call them potato mushers. But um, anyway, I'm going to show you how to do that. You're going to need some polymer clay, some jewelry wire, some wire cutters, some rounded tip pliers, and some regular tip pliers. Okay, once you have all of that, I also like to have an old bowl so I can stick them in it so they don't get lost once I make them. Um, once you have all that, you can start making them. You have, um, if you have any of these ball tip tools, they're also good because the back end has a point, the front end has a rounded edge, or you'll have a smaller and a larger one. Either one will work. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to knead your clay and get it kind of where it's a little bit easier to work with. You want it a little bit softer, you know, and you can kind of just roll it, you can squish it, whatever you want to do, okay? So go ahead and do that. Then you want to get yourself some wire and you want to cut it. Now this is just jewelry wire. It's nothing fancy, nothing big. But what I like to do is I like to take the very tip of my rounded tip pliers and I like to round this around, okay? Once I get it all the way around in a circle, I like to bend it back the opposite way so that I have like, almost like a um, question mark, okay? Now, if you're gonna make the spoon, what you'll need to do is you'll need to take and make an oval at the end, but there's only one way to really make that oval to where it'll work out. So you gotta put it down at the lowest point here, wrap this all the way around, okay? Now that makes a circle, so that's not gonna work for you. So what you need to do is hold that right there at the very tip where you've crossed it, bend it slightly, and then pull it the best that you can. Now with this jewelry wire, I will tell you, sometimes it will actually snap and break. Okay, and then you can kind of squeeze it a little bit with your hand once you have that done. All right, then you kind of get that rounded shape. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're gonna cover it with clay. All right, the next step in this process is you want to hold this right here at the end bring it up just a little bit like an L shape and then take your finger and bend it back turn this part where it's facing the opposite direction and then straighten out any part that may have gotten bent once it's like that, you'll have like a little curvature to your spoon. Now you can do that after it's done baking, it's fine. Um, either one will work. Now to do the next part, what I like to do is I like to kind of squish it just a little bit to where I kind of almost have a shape. And then press it in with my fingers and fold it over it. Okay, peel off the excess, but don't peel too much. You wanna leave some left over. And if you mess up, that's okay. It's not a big deal because you can always add more. Like see how I can see some silver here? I don't really wanna see silver there, so I can just kinda fill that in there. Okay. And then you can also kind of use the table or whatever you have that the clay won't stick to to kind of help you form that just a little bit better. And it'll kind of pull it all down. The object is to get it as thin as you can and keep it around where you don't see the black, I mean the silver. Start out big, go little. It works out for me. Um, hopefully that works out for you too. just kind of mold that around there a 
right now I'm just kind of like making my finger as the part that's going to make that round. All right, and it does not have to look perfect because by the time you put it in your dollhouse, you'll never see it. So if it's not something that you normally work with with clay, don't worry about it. Okay, now for your ball tool, you just want to kind of go in the center just a little bit to kind of give that indentation or illusion of a spoon. And if you hold it up just a little bit, you'll be able to actually get it to where it looks like that. Okay, now I don't like how this looks thicker at this one end, so I'm just going to kind of go down just a little bit like that. Okay, so this will need to be baked. And when it's baked, it'll turn out much nicer. Now, this one I did not use the ball tool on. What I did was I took the end of this and I pressed it in there. So if you don't have the ball tool, it's not a big deal. You can do both. All right, now, if you wanna make your spatula, just like this, basically you're gonna round the end like I've already showed you. Then you wanna take and bend it one way bend it the other way fold it this way right here and then come down just a smidge bit there and then come down here oh, wait a minute maybe that's too big come down here bend it and then bend it again just like that and then cut it off and then you're going to cover it the same way Okay, once you have it all bent, then you can either bend this part up where you have that angle that you need for the spatula, or you can cover it and then bend it. Okay, so now once you have that covered like that for the spatula, I'm going to also use a razor blade. You can use the pointy part of the ball tip tool if you have it. I just find it just as easy to use something I already have. Okay, so I'm just going to take the razor blade and just cut down in to this to make my spatula look more realistic. Okay, so once I have that done, then you want to make the black parts of the handle. Okay, so to do this, I kind of just make a little ball and I roll it up like this to where I have like an oval. Then I place it on here, just like that, and then I squish it around, and then I just kind of roll it in place. And I'm sorry if you can hear my dog barking. Okay. So, and that's all you need to do to make the handle. And just keep going back and forth until you get it to the way that you like it. All right, there's that, and then you do this one. Okay, so now to make the spoon, it looks like it has the holes in it, or the slats. If you want the slats, then you need to do the stripes like we did with the razor blade there. If you want the one that looks like it has the holes, then you can just take a piece of wire or your little tool here and make the holes in it. And then bake it. And then it'll give the illusion that it has holes. Now. This here is just a little tiny tool that I started to do to make it look like it was a potato um, peeler. Nothing fancy. Um, I don't really think I like it, but basically all I did was I took this and I went around like that and I squeezed them together as closely as I could get. Took the pliers squeezed it even more 
And then I cut it off. Okay. I took the top part that's round it and I bent it over. And then this part I bent in and then I bent back just a little bit to kind of give that illusion. Then I took some clay and this one's much bigger than the original so but you get the idea. And just roll it around there so it gets around that edge break off the excess and soften your end and then you have sort of a potato peeler where you could say it's a mixer all right now for this one take a piece of wire crisscross it twist it two times or three whichever works for you hold this at the very very tip and bend it down to where you have a shape that looks like this then you want to cut it at the end just like that. These two flat ends, you want to bend them in an L shape so that they look like this. All right, after that, get yourself a piece of clay. Make a circle or a ball. My clay is kind of drying out, so it's a little bit difficult to do. And then just flatten it. After you have it flat, then you take your ball tool with the pointy end. And you put a bunch of holes on it. And then you press that down in there and bake it. Now, I would make that thinner because I think that's just too thick. But there you go. You get the point. And you can put some clay at the top of it if you like to kind of give it that little handle. But you don't have to. But basically, that's all it is to making some kitchen utensils. All right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a question, suggestion, or comment below. And I will see you in the next video. And if you want to watch some... Um, more tutorials, go on dollhousetutorials.com to see them more organized and download your free printables. Thanks a lot. Have a wonderful day.